Hello everyone, and today we'll be learning about the calico cat and tortoiseshell cat. So a tortoiseshell cat, this picture, is a cat with shades of red and black in its fur. Now, a lot of tortoiseshells, like this one, have an orange color instead of a red. But a red cat is sort of orange anyway. But it could be different shades of that color. For instance, this one is it has a gray color instead of a black color. And it could still be classified as a tortoiseshell cat. Now, a tortoiseshell cat with white patches on its fur is called a tortoiseshell and white cat. It's not very creative, but that is what they're called. But if the tortoiseshell has a large amount of white on its fur, like this, it's called a calico cat. Now, tortoiseshell cats and calico cats are mainly female, and there is a reason for that. You see, females Female mammals, not just cats, have two X chromosomes. And so when she is still a developing embryo, one of those X chromosomes gets inactivated. It cannot be reactivated. It's still there. Though, hmm. Although males cannot do this because Males only have one X accompanied by one Y chromosome. So, if the male's X chromosome was to be inactivated, he wouldn't survive. And that's not really the best outcome at all. Especially not just because of a fur color. So males don't really have this coat color. So there's still some males that are tortoiseshell or calico out there for some reason. Why? Well, that's because in, on rare occasion, two developing embryos, they combine and they grow into one kitten. So that way, the, the male tortoiseshell or calico could still have that fur pattern and still live because of two embryos coming together. Anyway, so that's all for today about tortoiseshells and calicos, how they got their fur color. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!